Hey everybody, welcome back to our modded farm. Last time we got things rolling, uh, nothing too interesting, just kind of getting our feet on the ground. Apparently we have a new deluxe fishing pole in the shop, and a backpack upgrade, and a hat mouse, and a continued on next page. So last time we didn't do much modded content, but that's gonna change today. Today I have big plans. So for starters, um, I asked you guys for some fun ideas for challenge, little challenges to complete through the series. And you guys had plenty of fun ideas. Uh, the one that I came up with that I'm definitely going to do is going to be trying to complete this full shipment because there are so many new items now. And then the other thing we're going to try to do is not miss a single birthday. I'm really bad at keeping track of birthdays and making friends, so this time we're going to try and give everyone a gift that they like or love on their birthday without exception every single villager then the other thing is that someone had the great idea of just trying to make an ice cream making empire which we're definitely gonna be trying to do in the future we're gonna combine the ice cream producing capabilities of artisan valley with the automate mod to make an ice cream factory the only problem with that plan is that one single ice cream maker one ice cream machine requires 20 iron bars, just one. So it's gonna be pretty challenging to get a bunch of them, but we're gonna try. I don't want every episode to be me grinding for iron ore, so what we're gonna focus on is just making a bunch of money so we can buy all the ore, because that will make things so much easier. Hey, Geode. So we're gonna be gathering a lot of wood at the start of day four, and you might be somewhat concerned as to why we're gathering wood, and you will see shortly. I have a little, I have a little, uh, project that I'd like to get working on today. Let's try something really quick. So in between last episode and this episode, I figured out how the automate mod works. And if we hit U on our keyboard, now we have this, this grid layout and it shows us all the spots that we can connect uh, to automate. So our shipping bin, we can pipe things straight into there. We can automatically collect berries from bushes. We can automatically take uh, stuff from tappers on trees. There's something that I'd like to set up. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and make a chest. Okay, wonderful. And what I'd like to do, I'm going to, this might be a terrible investment in wood, but I don't really care. I'm gonna turn all of our wood into wooden paths because I've configured the mod file to allow these little wood paths to act as a connector for the automate mod. And let's give something a try. If we hit U here, we got some bushes, but look at that. We can connect to trash cans. So now, see that turns green. That means all of the, that means this chest will automatically root through the garbage every day. But if we add these wood paths here, it'll now root through both of these garbage cans every day. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now it'll root through this garbage can and this garbage can. We're creating a trash army right now. All right, and we're out of wood. Uh, but you, you get the gist, right? So now once this is set up, we're gonna have a little chest down here that automatically roots through all of the trash every day. Look, it's already doing it. We got some broken glasses in there. And I, I'm not sure if recycling machines like function outside of the farm, probably not. But if they do, we can put a recycling machine, we can hook up a recycling machine to it and then put that in a separate chest, and then boom, Elliot wants a potato. Um, maybe, and by that I mean definitely no, because we can't, we don't have time to grow a potato, sorry. So anyway, that's gonna be our little project for today. It's gonna be trying to hook up every single trash can in uh, in town to this chest right here. Oh, I'm already so excited. There's so many possibilities with this automate mod. I was looking uh, online and I saw some, some machines that people have made with the automate mod where they've put like, a worm bin, a recycling machine, and a chest all connected to some crab pots, which means that it, that's fully automated now. Because the worm bin will make bait, put it in the crab pots, fish from the crab pots will go in the chest, trash from the crab pots will go in the recycling machine. So like, that's freaking like sick to me that we can make fully functional machines now. A little low and we are literally one energy short of chopping that tree. Okay, well maybe we can find some spring onions. All right, so I think today is just gonna be a foraging day because uh, we are out of energy already trying to get this trash collection project going. And yes, we are wasting a ton of early game wood, but this is an investment for our future. Think about how much trash we're gonna be able to root through every day without even, without even going out of our way. It's incredible. I'm pretty much just like Jeff Bezos now. Well, now I need to remember what tree I was cutting down. Was it this one? Maybe it was this one. 
Yes, it was. Let's go. That's about all we can do for today. Wood cutting wise, at least. We're still gonna, we're not gonna just go to bed at four. What is this, my life? My sleep schedule just, it breaks so easily. It's so upsetting. Unless I have to wait, unless I have something that makes me wake up at like six every morning, like school or something. I just, my, my sleep schedule naturally shifts no matter what I do. To me, going to bed at like five and waking up at like noon every time. It, it, I just, I can't help it. That's just my body's natural sleep schedule. Okay, we almost made it to the museum. Not quite, but we're close. So that means that we've hit, we've hit every trash can on this side of town, I believe. We just need the museum, uh, the blacksmith, and Joja Mart, and then we are good to go. By the time it gets like late summer, I'm going to bed at like five every night and waking up at noon, and it's so bad. <laughs> like, I... I don't know why my body just forces me to do that every time, but it does. It's gotten to a more healthy place now. I'm going to bed at like 2 and waking up at 8.30, which is better. Still not great, but better. Excuse me. Sorry if you guys think that all these pads in the in town are gross. Uh, they're here to stay because this trash collection thing is so cool to me. So, so today was just a kind of introduction to automate mod day. Tomorrow is going to be when things really get rolling because we're going to hopefully open up the community center. We're going to harvest our parsnips. We're going to buy some new modded crops and we're going to hit the mines for the first time. The plan is to get a lot done tomorrow. That's the plan. Remember, we don't always stick to the plan. We try but it doesn't always happen. All right, pretty successful day. We ran around and picked shit up off the ground and did absolutely nothing with our time. That's pretty, it's pretty good, honestly. And we're hitting the hay at 8.30. Look at us, so responsible. Ooh, we unlocked a new recipe. Glass jar for level two forging. Huh, okay. So there's even more than what we started with. Good Lord. Glass jar, 20 wood and 100 slimes. A jar to ferment non-alcoholic beverages. Turns mushrooms and various teas into kombucha. Good lord. Okay. <gasps> puppy day! I forgot it's puppy day! See this dog here? Yes, I do. Oh my god, my little spaniel boy. He's so cute. Will you adopt this dog? Absolutely. Splunt. Everybody say hi to Splunt. The newest member of our little farm family. The mines are open and we have ourselves some parsnips, which means we should. There it is. Level one. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to get some shmoney. And today is going to be community center, buying new crops, and hitting the mines. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We have one gold parsnip. We're going to hold on to that for the community center. Actually, no, that goes in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're, we're, we're starting to build up a community center collection in here. Okay, so first of all, we have a field snack. Uh, let's cut some pine trees because we need more pine cones for field snacks. There we go, three more field snacks. So things we want to do today, we want to uh, get the, the community center cutscene. We're going to continue expanding our trash empire. We're going to buy a bunch of new seeds and we're going to head to the mines. That's going to be, that's going to be today, I think. Okay, there's our community center cutscene and skip. I don't have time for your nonsense, Lewis. We have a little time before Pierre's opens, so we might as well get working on this trash system. <laughs> Getting a recycling machine early is going to be the name of the game. We're going to have so much trash. So the blacksmith and the museum are connected now and we didn't quite reach Joja Mart, but we're close. So we're about one tree away from having a completed trash system. All right, so let's sell our parsnips. That was absolute dirt. Okay. And let's take a look at all our new crops. We have basil, cabbage, onion, parsley, passion fruit, spinach, almond, Asian pear, cashew, fragrant wisteria, granny smith, lemon, lime, uh, Melalusa, probably, persimmon, ume, vanilla, walnut, yuzu, chamomile, rose, shaded violet, spring rose, chili powder, oh, this is all spices, oh my god, meat seeds, these are all just, and jerky sapling, okay, so this is so we can get meat without killing our animals, that is a lot of new content, let's, let's start simple, we'll take, a basil, we'll take a cabbage, we'll take an onion, take a parsley, take a spinach, leave the trees, we'll take a chamomile, and a violet, we're out of space. Okay, we're gonna have to make two trips because I do want one of everything. <laughs> I underestimated how much new content there was in this mod, good lord. 
basil, cabbage, onion, perslaya, spichen, chinamia, flower, and back. Actually, wait, hold on. Let me cut one more tree so we can finish our trash system. Actually, you know what? Um, our luck is terrible today. So maybe we actually don't hit the mines. Maybe we save that for tomorrow. That might be a good idea. Just spend today getting all of our new crops down and stuff like that. Maybe fishing. That could be good. We'll get some rose, I guess. What's the difference between rose and spring rose? Well, whatever. Okay, and then we're gonna blow... Ugh, well, no, because we need some of these too. Shoot, yeah, we need it literally everything because we're going for the full shipment. Okay, bean. Get out of here. We'll get a, we'll get a cauliflower, a tater a tulip. All right, this is trip number two. Our garden is gonna look so stupid. Oh no, if a crow comes and eats something, I'm gonna have no idea what it ate. <laughs> I'm gonna forget what it ate and I'm not gonna know what to replace. Oh shoot. Okay, we'll make a separate little aisle for our trellises. Spring rose, rose, bean. <laughs> I keep making all these trips. I don't need to bring all of these tools. I've never planted like this many different crops on my farm. Usually I just like pick one and go all out. Usually I adopt the Costco method of farming, but we're, we're dropping the Costco strats. This time we're like, we're like Penzi Spice. Okay, trash system is finished. I like how we keep talking about how refined and complex our garden is, and then we're building this complex system to collect trash every day. Kale. Okay, that's all the plants. We're not gonna get any of the, any of the trees yet because we have no money. Uh, and then I'm gonna spend the rest of my money on passion fruit. If you watched a video I made a while back where I downloaded some mods and reviewed them, passion fruit was my favorite by far. I was a big, big, big fan of the passion fruit, so we're gonna be making as many of those as we can. All right, we have our 12, or I guess our 15 crops and passion fruit. Oh wait, I need more of the uh, potato and cauliflower because I also need one for the um, community center. Oops, man, we are terrible at this. If you guys have any fun ideas for like little automated machines that we could build with the automate mod, let me know because I'm trying to think. I haven't thought of much that's super interesting besides the automatic crab pot setup, which I think could be really fun. Uh, we are 12 gold short. Or maybe something from the trash. Oh, a field snack. We'll have to just buy the second cauliflower later. All right, let's throw our passion fruit in the ground. And it is yet another trellis crop. So we are we are rocking with the trellises again. All right, it is 550. So we have plenty of time left. We can do some fishing. Why not? Okay, I've t I talked about this very briefly. If you watched my most recent Terraria video, I talked about this very briefly, but I kind of want to exp expand on it. The freaking Shirley Temple DVD collection commercial that they would air like at least once every 10 minutes on like Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Why? Like what What was the purpose of that? Like I get airing the same commercial like 30 times to try and jam stuff into the kids' brains, but why a Shirley Temple collector's DVD? What kid within the age demographic of SpongeBob SquarePants is going to know who Shirley Temple is in like 2010? That much I don't understand. And it's like, so I get if you like give it a shot, like just to see if, if anyone would be interested. But I'm not lying when I say that that commercial came on pretty much three to four times an hour on Nickelodeon. It was insane and and it stayed that way for months i don't know what i don't know what the goal was the reese's puffs rap was the same deal but see that's understandable because everyone thought that was hype literally all of my friends still know every single lyric to the reese's puffs rap because it's iconic it's one of the greatest commercials of all time youtube recommended me a, like a pretty long compilation of those commercials uh, a while back and Oh my god, just like watching them back. I don't know if any of y'all remember Fushigi, the magic gravity ball. Also iconic. Slushy magic, iconic. The freaking education connection song, iconic. There are just so many like that. There's so many. So it's November now. I hope everyone had a nice Halloween and a nice October. Again, in my 100 days of co-op Terraria video, I talked about going as a frog to tack on to my... my <laughs> college halls Disney princes and princesses costume since I asked if the frog from princess and the frog counts and they said yes literally every costume shop sold out of stuff so there were no frogs to be found so I had to get creative and the the best I could do was buy this big old panda suit and say that I was the panda from one scene in Mulan there's exactly one scene in Mulan with a panda in it and uh so that was that that was my costume okay we got what is that? Eight fish? That's fine, I guess. Little money never hurts. And we're gonna we're gonna hold on to all our trash since we're gonna be 
making a recycling machine soon enough, so we might as well just keep all our trash. We're gonna hold on to some community center fish. So in reality, we're selling five fish, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna be making bank tonight, but that's okay. Hi, puppy. I love you. All right, now we just gotta pray for no crows. Please, no crows. Oh, it's raining. That's good news. We don't have to water our crops. No crows. Okay, so we need to make a scarecrow, which means we need, what is it, like, is it, is it 50 wood? I don't think it's 50 wood. It is 50 wood. Yikes. So we need 50 wood real quick for a scarecrow, and then we're going straight to the mines. All right, scarecrow, and that should be a little more money. Yep, there we go, up to 462. And I've got the UI suite, so I know where my, where my scarecrow reigns. So if I put it right here, it covers everything. Right there, perfect. All right, we're hitting the mines. Ugh, we're still not lucky though. It's another bad luck day. Well, we all have a choice at this point. That's pretty unfortunate that we got two bad luck days in a row, but that's okay. I'm Marlin, skip your cutscene. All right, let's do this. Let's see how far down we can get with 187 energy and pretty much a whole day. The bad luck stat is not gonna do us any favors, but we should still be able to get to like 10 or 15. So we're gonna be grabbing literally every bit of copper we see because getting as much copper as we can on these floors is going to be essential. I'd like to get a few sprinklers up by the 13th so we can get some strawberries and not have to water them every morning because that would be obnoxious. Ooh, an amethyst. That's pretty good. We're not going to sell it. We're going to hold on to it to donate, but still. And a topaz, also good for donating. Quartz, also good for donating. And up there, I see an earth crystal, which is also good for donating. Getting that backpack upgrade is going to be a priority because I freaking hate having the one inventory bar. For the last, like, few months I've, I've been playing with this really loud keyboard because my nice keyboard broke and now I am in the process of waiting for my new keyboard to arrive. I've been in that process for three months but it's coming in a couple weeks. So this sound that you can hear, this like click that you can hear while I'm talking, that's not going to be a thing in, in a couple weeks ideally. So that's great news. Sorry y'all have had to deal with that for this long. Also, I'm gonna get a mouse that has a quieter click, so everything should just be better. Floor five, there's our first elevator, 11.10. So time-wise, we're making great time. Energy-wise, not the greatest, but that's okay. We're definitely gonna wanna mine all the gem nodes because they give a ton of mining XP, and we wanna get to level five as soon as possible because that like extra ore perk is huge. Bink. Bonk, bink. Ah, uh, okay, that's all right. This shouldn't take too long. It's a bummer, but we can deal with it. Also, we're gonna we're gonna be holding on to all the slime we get because that like glass jar thing we found, 20 wood and 100 slime, which compared to these other ones is pretty cheap. So that might be like the first one we end up getting. Pepper blender looks kind of doable. Smoker is a lot of iron. Soap press actually looks doable if we can somehow get a soapstone. I underestimated how crazy expensive all these Artisan Valley machines are. There's 10, which means... Oh, I forgot I re... Ah, oh, goddammit. I forgot I remixed all the mine <laughs> rewards. Whatever, we're gonna rock the wind spire for a bit. I never use daggers, so this will be a... This will be a fun little change of pace. Stab. Where did my experience bars go? Oh, X turns them on and off. Okay. If we had infinite energy, we could probably get to floor 20 today, honestly. Ooh, special slime. Maybe he'll drop a weapon. He could also drop something really terrible. Yep, there they are. The sneakers. One defense, but look at my cool red shoes. Ow. Bro, get off me. Stop! Okay, the dagger is terrible for the bugs. Okay, before this floor, I felt like we had a chance of making it to 20. Now I don't even know if we're gonna get to 15. Oh, it's a rock crab. We should have kept the rusty sword. Y'all see that movement, though? That was kind of nice. Oh, crab. That's good for the community center. 14, one more. One more floor should do it. I would love to find a new weapon that isn't the wind spire because throwing out the rusty sword was a terrible mistake. This thing sucks. Swift's little blade, more like a bad little stupid blade. Look at my beautiful red shoes. I deserve this ladder. Thank you. Okay, 16. Definitely not gonna make it to 20 because we are out of energy again. But we can get as much copper as we can at least. Okay, we are, we have one more. And we're calling it there. Okay, so ran out of energy. We made 40, we made it to 415, which is pretty good. 44 copper. We got a crab for the community center. We got some fun little gems. So pretty good. I am still kind of having a crisis over how freaking expensive these new Artisan Valley machines are because that might make me rethink my whole farm design. Maybe they're just expensive because you really only need one and then they work really fast. 
So they're not like kegs where you have to get a bunch because they each take a week to do anything. Maybe they only take like an hour, which is why you only need one of them. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, talk to the wizard was the other thing that I wanted to do. Shoot. Okay. Well, too late for that. And bedtime. Oh, we have a Clint cutscene. Oh my God. What could it be about? And we're not going to know until next episode because I'm ending this one here. Whoa. Whoa, that's crazy, dude. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more because there will be more. I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.